Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Ted Carr here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about six reasons why you wanna get a Tesla for your next vehicle. So if you've been living under a rock for any period of time and you're not sure what a Tesla is, a Tesla is the world's best car. Hands down, world's best car. This is the Tesla logo. You've probably seen Teslas driving around your neighborhood, driving around your city, because they're very, very, very popular now. Teslas are like one of the best selling, definitely the best selling electric vehicle right now, but one of the best selling vehicles one of the best-selling vehicles in general as well. So let's get into the six reasons why everyone's jumping on the Tesla wagon right now and why you should seriously consider getting a Tesla for your next car as well. So the first reason is they're just plain fast. This is the coolest reason to get a Tesla. Now, personally, I don't like driving that fast. I like driving the speed limit, maybe a little bit over, but I'm not, I don't consider myself a speeder, someone who drives recklessly. Uh, I'm not into racing, I'm not into drag racing or anything like that, but Teslas are just plain flat out fast like i'm talking zero to 100 kilometers in 3.4 seconds zero to 60 miles in 3.2 seconds like this is faster than a lamborghini this is faster than a ferrari this is like stupid fast like you can you can uh spend thousands of dollars uh, turbo engineering your your bmw or your range rover or your or your freaking mazda miata or your um, corvette it's not going to be as fast as a tesla it just stock it's a tesla stock like comes from the factory boom ready to go zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds so when you come to a red light and you're beside a lamborghini or you're beside uh any other electric vehicle for sure if you're beside any single car basically besides a, 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 another tesla when that light goes green, you're able to get off in front of that car and change lanes right away. So in case you ever need, need ever, in case you ever do need to change lanes and you don't want to think, oh, I can't accelerate, that's no longer going to be a problem. You'll be able to accelerate super, super easily in this car. Um, now, again, I don't like driving super, super fast, but this car is just like, it's just fun to drive really, really fast sometimes. And if you're in a straight line and there's no other cars around, you're in the middle of the highway and you decide, hey, I'm going to see what it feels like to go super fast. You can do that in a Tesla and it's super fun. It doesn't wear out the car at all. It's like meant to go that fast. And if you put the pedal to the metal, it's like turning up the brightness in your phone. It's just, it requires no energy on the car part. It requires no effort in the car part. Obviously there's energy usage with the battery, but there's no, the car's not putting on any more effort to go any faster. It's like taking the phone here and just see the brightness is down and brightness is up. That's how, that's what I like to go fast in Tesla. You just go, whoop and your instantly speed is up drastically. So Teslas are just a lot of fast. That's the first reason. Now the second reason you might think, well, I think that that's not very safe, but in fact, Teslas are the safest car in the world. In fact, if you're gonna get in an accident in any car, you wanna get in an accident when you're in a Tesla. Teslas are the car that are most likely to save your life in an accident. So if you do get in an accident, you know, God forbid you get in an accident, but statistically speaking, drivers typically get in an accident every 400,000 kilometers. Uh, now, most cars don't drive 400,000 kilometers, but over the course of someone's life, um, they typically get an accident every 400,000 kilometers. So, statistically speaking, it's bound to happen. Unless you're driving a Tesla. So, Teslas are super, super safe for a couple of reasons. Number one, if they do get hit, you got crazy good airbags, you got crazy good um, uh, space, collision space. So, the tr front of the Tesla is called a frunk. It's a front trunk. And if you get hit there, you get hit front on or you rear end somebody or whatever, you hit a wall. There's so much impact space because there's no motor in the front. There's no engine in the front. It's just air. Or you might have your shopping bags in there or something, but it's, it's called a crumple zone. So if you get hit in front of a Tesla, you get a lot of crumple zone. So instead of the motor getting rammed into you because you're the driver sitting right in front of it, or right behind it, it's just going to crumple first and then it's going to go back. So it's like spring loaded almost. Really, really cool there. So if you do get hit, especially in the front, you're really safe there. If you get hit in the back, same thing, a lot of crumple zone. Uh, some cars don't have an engine in the front, they got in the back, but then that motor just runs into you there. So there's no engine in the back, no engine in the front. There's just a beer battery on the bottom. So the cool thing about having a heavy battery on the bottom is that the car is a lot less likely to flip over as well. It's also a lot less likely to catch on fire. So if you do get hit again, you get major crumple zone, you're not, you're not very likely to flip over. And if you do flip, you're not likely to catch on fire. Uh, but the coolest thing is like you are a lot less likely to even get into an accident with the Tesla because Tesla has uh, collision avoidance built in. So it's got cameras all around 360 cameras and 
if a car, if you're driving on the highway and a car kind of like is driving beside you and kind of swerves into your lane, maybe the, maybe the truck driver falls asleep or whatever. There's so many good YouTube videos on this already, but the truck driver, let's say, falls asleep, swerves into your lane, your Tesla will go beep, 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 and automatically swerve you to the right to miss the accident um, if it's safe to do so. Or if, if you drive through an intersection, somebody runs a light, boom, goes right through the intersection, your Tesla will automatically stop before you even get in the accident. The car will go right through, it'll hit somebody else. So. Again, you're a lot less likely to even get into an accident in the first place because of this uh, collision avoidance built into the Tesla. So that's really, really cool. So yeah, they're really fast. You might think that's not very safe, but they're the safest car hands down. Even if you're driving super fast or if you decide to drive in chill mode because you can just set the speed to go chill mode so it's not crazy fast, um, they're still super, super safe. All right? And the reason they're so safe is because Elon, the designer, the, the owner of the company Tesla, He's like, my friends are driving this car. My family is driving this car. Like, I'm gonna make this car as safe as possible. Unlike, you know, Ford and General Motors and all these other companies, they're just trying to make a profit. Tesla's like, hey, we're building the world's best car. We're gonna make all of our patents completely open. Anyone can use our patents. Anyone can make the same freaking looking and performing cars. They have our patents and they have access to the same batteries we use. Um, and uh, we wanna make these cars super, super safe and super fast and super fun and super beautiful. And uh, safety is just at the top of the priority list for them. So Teslas are really safe, man, because they're built by a guy who built these cars for his family. Um, then they have the highest safety rating out of any car as well. You know, you take any single car in the market right now, Teslas will score highest on all the all the different areas, whether it's for flipping, whether it's for collision, or whether it's for you know um, drifting or whatever. So Teslas are the safest. Um, they're also, this is the third reason right here. Number, reason number three to get a Tesla is they're just eco. They're eco-friendly. Like if you're not doing things for the environment nowadays in 2019, like you're not paying attention to what's going on. There is a global climate crisis going on right now. And we've got to do everything we can to help the planet. We basically got to do everything we can not to continue to fuck up the planet. Just got to live as clean as possible. And Teslas are super, super eco-friendly because not only obviously are they electric, which you know doesn't contribute to the greenhouse gases from, from the gas emissions and things like that, and the oil industry, which is super, super bad for the environment, but they're also vegan. And you might say, what does vegan have to do with the environment? Veganism has like everything to do with the environment, next to helping out the animals, of course. It also doesn't contribute to producing as much uh, methane gas, because when you're raising animals for like leather interior and leather products inside the car, animal-based products inside the car, um, then that contributes to a lot of greenhouse gases as well from the methane gas. So if you look at the top contributing sources to greenhouse gases and, and climate change, um, what's causing global warming, animal agriculture is in the top there. It's like, it's like the it's like ten percent of the cause of all global climate change is coming from animal agriculture. So being vegan or buying vegan products, using vegan products, really, really just diminishes that aspect. So you're now no longer part of that ten percent. And you're no longer part of the the, uh, the oil industry, which is like 28%, like the transportation industry. It's just super, super bad for the environment. So it's super eco-friendly as well. So you're doing good things for the environment by getting a Tesla as well. The fourth reason to get a Tesla is they just last a long time. Like most cars, I got a used, my friend gave me a used, uh, one of his used Fords out there. I got a Ford car out, right, out there right now. Um, and it, it's likely to last around maybe 300,000 kilometers. The average car lasts about 300,000 kilometers. You're lucky to get 300,000 kilometers. Most cars, you know, kind of crap out and you gotta go for a lot of tune-ups after the couple hundred thousand mark. Some cars only make it to 250,000 kilometers. Um, and then you're really, really lucky if your car gets like 310, 320, 330,000 kilometers in its lifetime, okay? After that, you gotta buy a brand new car or you gotta get a different car. But that car is toast, it's not scrap. Everything in it is just garbage, chuck it. Or it gets recycled, gets used to put in other cars. But you basically you gotta go buy another car after that. Um, whereas with the Tesla, they don't last 300,000 kilometers. Teslas last 800,000 kilometers. So, I mean, that's just the battery. The battery alone lasts 800,000 kilometers. After that, if your battery wears out, you think, okay, well, I need, to, I need to get a new battery for the Tesla. You can get a brand new battery for your Tesla after 800,000 kilometers for just $7,000 at today's price. In the future, the prices are going down in batteries. So today's price, 2019, the price for a Tesla battery is about $7,000. So that's really, really cool. Instead of lasting 300,000, they last 800,000 kilometers. So you're basically getting you know, the lifespan of two cars in one. So instead of buying a car and driving it for 15 years after you can get a new one or 10 years getting a new one, if you drive a lot, whatever, uh, your Tesla can last you, you know, 20, 30 years. And it's gonna be a very, very enjoyable drive because it's just so damn smooth, so damn fast, and it's silent. It's just a beautiful, comfortable drive as well. Um, 
but uh, we'll get into specs in another video in the future. Uh, the other cool reason of getting a Tesla is, uh, is the fifth reason now, is if you're thinking, okay, I'm sold on electric, electric makes sense, you know, they're silent, they're, they're smooth, they don't contribute to animal agriculture, um, they're kind of, you know, modern, whatever. Uh, the other reason you want to get a Tesla rather than like a Nissan Leaf, for example, or a Chevy Volt or a freaking smart car or, you know, Volkswagen Golf is because Teslas have way better range. They can drive so much further than any other electric car, not just further, but of course faster. So, so much faster and so much further. So it's kind of like if, if I'm a really good runner, I'm probably going to be able to run a long distance. Or if I'm a really good runner, I'm probably able to run really, really fast, right? So it's like Usain Bolt doing a hundred meter sprint versus like a marathon runner who can run like a marathon in like around two hours. You know, the world record holder is like two hours and a minute or something or a few seconds. So Tesla is the best of both worlds. Tesla is like the Usain Bolt. It's like the fastest accelerator and it can go the furthest. It's like the ultimate combination. You can go 500 kilometers on one charge versus 85 kilometers for a Chevy Volt versus 200 kilometers for a Volkswagen Golf or 300 kilometers for a Nissan Leaf. All right. So the Tesla goes 500 kilometers. It almost goes, almost, it almost goes twice as far as the other leading competitor. So twice as far as the range almost and so much faster. Like there's no way a Nissan Leaf or Volkswagen Golf or Chevy Volt is, has Tesla's acceleration. That's just a ridiculous fast, ridiculously fast acceleration which we talked about in earlier in the video here. So Tesla, it just goes so much further than any other car. And the reason you want that is because you don't want to have to keep pulling over to charge up. Like uh, I think a normal gas car gets between maybe 300 and 500,000 kilometers as well before they need to fill up their gas tank. But Tesla goes, you know, 500, 500 kilometers, which is like as far as the best gas car would go. Um, so that's really, really cool. Like I have a cabin, it's about 450 kilometers, 420 kilometers away from here. And if I were to get, you know, a Nissan Leaf, I couldn't even drive to my cabin all in one charge. I'd have to stop and pull over twice to charge up. Like that's crazy. Um, I wouldn't want to do that. I want to be able to get in my car and just drive to my cabin. So with the Tesla, I can not only drive to my cabin, but also have extra, you know, 80 kilometers left over to go drive into town or go drive somewhere else and go charge up without having to worry about running out of charge. And people talk about range anxiety as if range anxiety is something that just exists with electric cars. Range anxiety is when you're afraid of running out of gas or running out of gear, running out of power. But it doesn't just exist with electric cars. You know, I have range anxiety when I'm driving my gas car now because sometimes I didn't fill up before I got on the big highway and I'm heading to the highway in the middle of nowhere and my car's running super, super low, it's on red. And I have to call the car company or call, I, don't know, I have a visa card and mom, my visa has roadside assistance. But I call them up and say, hey, like, I'm about to run out of gas. Like, what? when can you guys come pick me up? And this is, I'm, I'm getting anxiety in my gas car right now. And so with electric cars, you know, there's chargers everywhere, man. You don't even need, the cool thing about electric cars, it's actually more convenient to, um, more convenient driving around with an electric car and not having to worry about gas stations because all you need is a three prong electric plug-in. So you can pull over to anybody's house and go to their garage or go to the side of their house and just plug your car in there and it'll charge up. Yeah, it's a bit slower. It's actually quite a lot slower than a, filling up your car with gas, but at least it's convenient because there's charge, charging ports everywhere. So somebody's house or go to a grocery store, or go to a supercharger network, you can charge your Tesla up in like 30 minutes from zero to 80, um, zero to 80% in 30 minutes. So super fast charging with the supercharger. And then if you're at home charging your electric car, your Tesla, it can take about maybe six to eight hours to charge your car up from zero to 90%. So you just do it while you're sleeping or do that while you're at home doing YouTube videos or something like that. So. Uh, they got really good range and they're not that hard to fill up, re re recharge the battery. Um, and then the last reason here, this is a really, really cool reason. This reason just completely sold me. This reason is the reason why buying a Tesla is not like buying any other car. So when you go buy a car right now, if you were to buy a Mercedes Benz or a Range Rover or a Lexus or a Buick, whatever, you're just buying another car. It's just another car. It's nothing special about it. It's like, okay, maybe it's comfortable, maybe it's smooth, maybe it's fast, maybe it's loud, maybe it's whatever, luxurious, but you're just buying a car. That's all it is. It's just an asset. Teslas, on the other hand, are an investment. When you purchase a Tesla, you can expect the worth of that Tesla to go up for two reasons. Number one, Tesla is going to be releasing future software updates. So you buy a Tesla now and you get the full self-driving software update, which costs about $8,000 Canadian right now. That's not going to be worth $8,000 in the future. So right now it's worth eight grand. 
But in the future, that software that they put in the test is going to be considerably higher. Could be 15 grand, could be 20 grand. So when you go to sell that car later, you know, that, that, with that software built in, it brings the price of the car, brings the value of the car way up. So the software is where all the value is in a Tesla. Okay, the battery, of course, makes up like 40% of the cost, but the value of the actual car is in the, all in the software. That's what runs the whole thing. And as they make regular software updates, the car make it run faster, make it run safer, make it do cool tricks and things like that, which does over the air updates. You don't need to plug in or anything. You just press update in your car and it just updates it for you. You can even do some of the, um, I should know, you gotta shut your car off to do the updates, but um, yeah, really over the easy hands-off updates. You don't need to plug anything in or take it anywhere to get the update. It's just in your car, in your driveway, hit update. And so as time goes on, your car's gonna be worth more just from the software updates. But the second reason the car's gonna be worth more, and the second reason why I would consider a Tesla an investment is because you can then, by the year 2020, 2021, put your car on the Tesla RoboTaxi network. And what that is, is it's basically a replacement for Uber or the taxi network, or the, the Lyft you know, taxis out there right now. Um, basically it's ride sharing. So in the future, when Teslas are fully autonomous, are fully regulated to be fully autonomous, um, you'll be able to park your car in your driveway or park your car at work and then go to work, do your thing. And you know, if you know you're not gonna be driving your car for the next eight, 10 hours, you can put your, open your phone up and open the Tesla RoboTaxi network and say, yep, I wanna enter my car into the network. Your car will then go onto the network and if somebody needs a ride, needs a drive somewhere, and they go on the RoboTaxi network, they're gonna find that the rides are a hell of a lot cheaper when they ride with Tesla and super convenient because there's gonna be Teslas everywhere. So instead of paying, um, you know, 20 bucks for an Uber ride, they'll be able to pay $10 for a Tesla ride. And they don't even have to do the driving. There's gonna be no driver in the car. The car is gonna do it itself. So the car will pull out of your driveway, pull out of your work parking lot, and it'll go pick that person up, and they'll get in, and they'll do the drive for them. Tesla will drive them, drive for them. Like it's fully autonomous, self-driving. And so the person gets out of the car and says, thank you very much, and then the car drives itself back to you or drives itself back to where it can get charged. Now the cool thing about this is that you can get paid approximately thirty to forty thousand dollars a year just by having your Tesla on the RoboTaxi network, like eight hours a day or so. So that, in my opinion, makes it a really, really valuable investment. Like I said, you buy it now, and the price goes up over time because the software updates keep going into it. It's going to make it better and better and better. And in the future, Tesla may not even be making consumer vehicles for consumers. They're just going to make them for the purely for the RoboTaxi network. So rather than making a bunch of cars to sell to consumers, they're going to purely make cars to put on the RoboTaxi network. So you're going to have a bunch of Teslas driving around without people in them. So it's going to be really, really cool to be part of that. And as well, when Tesla comes out with their with their boring tunnel, with their tunnel um, underground in California or New York or Chicago or wherever, um, the only people who are able to use that tunnel initially are people who have Teslas that are fully autonomous. So if you want to be able to use the, the boring tunnel, is, which is going to be super, super epic. Check out uh, that on YouTube if you want more information on that. Just type in Tesla Boring Tunnel. Um, then uh, you'll be able to use that with your Tesla. And if people want to do the RoboTaxi network and they want to use your, if people want to get on the RoboTaxi network and they want to use the tunnel, then they can use your Tesla to do that and you will get paid to let people drive in your car. Not even drive your car, but just sit as a passenger in your car without you having to even do the driving. You're just sitting at home on YouTube while your Tesla's out doing road trips for people and you're getting paid while you chill, all right? So I hope this was a good video. I hope this paints a good picture of why Teslas are not just another car. They're actually an investment. They're super, super safe. They're gonna last a hell of a long time. Uh, they're super fast, of course, they're eco, and uh, they just got create, they've got way better range than any other car out there right now, as far as electric vehicles go. So hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'd love to see you in a future video. Peace out, much love, adios.